things. All right, Flint. We're gonna make you guys mainstream. All right, Odroid <laughs> unboxing. That's See what this is first. What is the Odroid? Hard kernel. It's a, it's a uh, Raspberry Pi clone. Mm -hmm. But they couldn't make the. Uh, um, this thing is gonna drive me nuts. Okay. They couldn't make it with the the, the same chip, the Broadcom chip, so they used another one. Mm -hmm. So it's got the same layout essentially, mm -hmm. with different connectors, but um, the pin nuts no, mostly the same. Guess the lights can die. Uh, I think there's. Sounds like it works. Way more better. Put it back on. Oh boy. So. Now we get to unbox it, and rebox it, and test it out. <laughs> cool. And that's hey. an, what air piston. Air piston, yeah. I want these. They were throwing it away. So. Suction tips. Exactly, yeah. That's what I figured. You'd be able to use it for something. Oh no, they're just they're kind of hard to get a hold of. They are hard to get a hold of. Yeah. Why are suction tips hard to get a hold of? Not many things outside of places that you suction tip uses them. So. Yeah. You can buy them. It's just they're kind of spendy. I see. Put a little bit of back pressure on that and it turns, <laughs> sucks it right up and we'll let go. Cool. It's like removing plate glass or glass. Well, that was for like large things. Cool. It was an arm for a large thing to okay. pick things up and put them in the place. It's pretty Probably cool. Probably boards. Place the current to run the laser cutter. Thank you, lights. Okay, what do you eventually want this to do? Scroll text. Okay. Probably replace the uh, small teeny one that's on the uh, printer. Cool. <laughs> Sounds good. So, working on it. Alright. Uno, controlled. Hey, look. Can it turn on? Yep. Oh. No but there's a there's a little lip and then sir gets cold and everything. It seems to do its job, so. Oh okay. Put it back together. All right, cool. Which just the Peter proximity effect. What happens when aluminum burns? It makes up. I don't know what kind of flame it makes. Usually it just melts. Are you killing squirrels in there? Uh, I spoke about it anyway. They were screaming earlier. Were they? No. Oh. I'm mildly disappointed. Just hating the rabbit hole. Okay. Hey, dude. Looks pretty epic. It really likes. Are you just holding it down for now? Yep. Putting on pressure so that way the glue dries. Okay. Tear right, down my laptop so I don't place. get bored. Excellent. Sounds like a good idea. Right now it's using the same thing as the LED, which is not right, but... <laughs> Where is the... Hmm. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Flint, the digital <laughs> musician. Oh, Kev replied to one of my tweets. I wonder if he's going to fill us in on the story. What's he saying? I don't know. I haven't gone that far. Oh. Internets are being slow.
One problem is I can't stop it. Stop! Stop the program. Because it lowers the pipe. Uh, it is repeating. It's so a that's simple, why it's, it's a simple. <sighs> there. Uh oh. <laughs> Fire it high. It's dead. <laughs> Clear. Ooh, there's like cords now. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. <laughs> What's that? Rack and pinion. What's a pinion? Poplar. Yeah, but what's a pinion? Um, pinion is that little wheel in the middle. The no. gear. No. Oh. Hmm? No? Yeah. Yes? Well, it's a gear with the shaft that goes what's, into what's it. What's a rack? Pinion. Yes. Flat oh. gear. The flat gear. Sure. As Peter was saying earlier, a gear with an infinite circumference. <laughs> <laughs> That's fancy talk for... Straight and don't curve much. <laughs> <laughs> right. 3M spray adhesive, a little masking tape to make sure I didn't get adhesive all over everything. Uh huh. And stuck my little cut out pieces of paper mm -hmm. to this, and then I'll cut it out on the bandsaw. Awesome. Right. Isn't there like that other, is it jigsaw? Or was that what they're calling it? Yeah. Scroll saw. You could use that. You could. Which would be more effective? Be messy. I like bandsaw, but I may have to use the scroll saw because it's a long piece. Uh, but I can cut this here. Oh yeah, yeah. To make it easier on myself. Okay. Don't cut your fingers. <laughs> All right, lights aren't coming on. Come on, lights. Can you see them? Don't see blades. All right, give me a second. We'll leave you in a minute. Dude. Recycle reuse. Hey, you left the door open. You're like letting all the heat out there. That you just filled up. Yeah, I didn't want to freeze. <laughs> you probably should close the garage door. Let me do that. Alright. What? Shabino Engine Works. Shabino. Shabino, right? Something like that. Shabino. So, here's the instructions. A little fuel caster. Funnel, wick, matchboxes. Inside you have a little burner and the engine itself. Nice. Very nice. And everything is made from scratch. Yep. Essentially, all the metal pieces are made from stock. Mm hmm. Nice. Very, very nice. Show us the box too, because that was the that's been the latest. Yeah, I just got those done. So there's the insides of that. Those screw and tighten. Yeah, that just keeps them so you can't push them over. Versus yeah. You don't actually snag one. That's about it. What's the back say? Same stuff, just more space. Uh -huh. Very nice. Yeah. That turned out really well.
Whisker, show me the money. Okay, we got both of them cut out and sanded a bit. Let's see if it lines up right. Bam! Yeah, that should do. It's a little tight in a couple spots, but easy enough to fix. Sweet. Sanding here. Pretty slick. Hey, so that's the first part of the drive train mechanism to lift up the thing and drop it down. Guillotine's down. Yeah, cool. did you see Flint's? Guillotine's down. Oh! <laughs> Hard drive. CD room. CD room. Over. What are you going to do with it? Same thing I'm doing. Oh, you guys are working on this together. Yeah, we're fighting it out. Oh, I see. See you around. He's got to interface it though with a microcontroller. I need to interface mine with a hand crank. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do we have? Dowels? I'm going medieval and he's going guillotine. I see. Because <laughs> this is not worth a. Just clearing off some of the paper. Okay. Because. Whoa, that's fancy. Epoxy this into place. Epoxy or glue? Epoxy. Oh, okay. And then we got the inner bearing there. Okay. Cool. Okay. And we got this guy here. We got two bearings. Yeah. Where is that? The other little collar. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice. And then here's my axle. So I think I'll slip through there, and then we've got the rest of the assembly. Blah blah blah. And it holds everything together, and there's a spot over here where um, this all goes in to place. Blah blah blah. And it goes together, but that's all not together yet. So this is the part for right now. Okay. Getting this epoxy. Cool. Two part epoxy. Mm -hmm. A little bit greasy. That's not a bad thing. Tiny bit off center, but it's not going to be enough to matter. So we're talking about a really big rack, so. Yeah. It's going to work. It's going to work, man.